Yo, what up? Mixtape review come from Mighty Baby, So Abnormal, and I think he a cat that run with Chief Keef. I didn't know what to expect when I um went into listening to this because, as you know, um I really don't check out really new artists that really fuck with them like that. Not saying nothing wrong with him, but I just never heard of him, so I don't like know who the fuck he was. Um, basically, this shit is filled with a lot of auto tune, but I will say this. I've heard Tato new shit. I've heard uh, Capo new shit. I enjoyed this nigga shit a lot better than theirs. Like, sorry. He know how to use auto-tune. Chief Keef and them need to learn from this nigga. He still rap, but type singy type, auto-tune type shit. But he know how to use the shit. And I'm listening to it like, damn, it's auto-tune, but it's not annoying me. You know what I mean? So let's get into it. Features, you got Lil Mouse, Shy Glizzy, Chief Keef. Um, Taylor Bennett, Big Glow, RP to him, uh, Fresh Los, and Just Glow, man. Let's get into it. The first track, All This Time, I thought the beat was dope. Of course, the auto-tune, I'm not going to mention that again because it's in there. I like the hook and I like his lyrics. I thought that was cool for what it was. Number two, Backup, I didn't like that record. Number three, The Others, this shit was dope. I was high. I smoked like a blunt of perp and a half and I was just zoning out to this shit. That shit was pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you didn't like it, that's you. Number four, Numbers featuring Lil Mouse, Shy Glizzy. All of them did their thing. That shit was hard as fuck. The lyrics, the beat, nothing bad about that record. Shy Glizzy came through and, and really shitted on motherfuckers, though. Boy, that nigga a cold nigga, though. People say that he's better than Meek Mill. I'm not here to judge. I think they both bring what they bring to the table. Uh, but some would say Shy Glizzy is a knockoff Meek Mill. Uh, number four. What is this? Five? All that? I thought the beat was dope. He was flexing in this song, you know what I mean? So it's nothing more I can say about that. Good record. Number six, No Invite. I didn't like it. Michelin featuring Chief Keef. They used auto tune, violent ass lyrics, you know what I mean? The beat was hard. The hook was dope, you know? They just did what they did. And what I'm thinking, Michelin is a tire, so however they worked that in there. Chief Keef creative if you really break down some of that shit and think about it. He really is, though. Uh, number eight, Legendary. Which is the way he spelled it, L E G E N D A Y R, instead of the R in front of the Y. That, that shit crazy. You know what I mean? The sample was L, love the beat. Beat was crazy. I like his flow and like his lyrics. That shit was just dope, man. Marvelous. Uh, many of y'all should relate to that record. You feel me? If you just take it for what it's worth and listen to it, because I'm listening to it, it's like, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's catchy as fuck. Like, people should relate to that. Number 10, rapping and stacking. Crazy beat. His flow and lyrics was cool. You know what I mean? I had no problem with it. It was a good record. Number 11, Out. Nah. Uh, number 12, Side Scent featuring Taylor Bennett. Dope song. Whoever Taylor is, he killed that shit. Straight up. Good record. 13, Too Many Niggas featuring Big Glow. The song Hard as Fuck, period. Not just because Big Glow on it, but he did some shit on that song that was incredible. Like, RP to him. It's sad that he got taken out before he actually can shine. Because every time he's on somebody's record, it just makes it even more better dope number 14 told you it's like a positive song in a sense you know great lyrics dope beat and a real life hook you know what i mean so you take it for what it's worth number 15 talking about featuring fresh Los. nah number 16 do it for the gram a great song for the generation because everybody do something do it for the gram i think that shit is whack like if you're gonna take a picture take a picture you know what i mean fuck all that editing and all that shit you know what i mean that's why if i take a picture it'll give you real life pictures if i'm sitting in target from Best Buy to wherever, it's a real life picture. It ain't photogram, it's because I wanted to take a picture. Number 17, Find Us featuring Jess Glow. Hard ass song. Jess Glow did his thing. Violent lyrics, I like their flows. Is he related to Fredo Santana? Because he looked just like him. And the last track, Aw, oh, A W E. Nah, I didn't like it. But overall, 13 out of 18 records, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I give it a 7 out of 10. Production, 7 out of 10. It was a good. You know what I mean? Mixtape and listening to it, I'm like, damn, he's an artist that I definitely want to check out. See if he got any more um, projects out. And his fucking cover for the mixtape was pretty dope. Whoever be doing Glow Gang, uh, Glow Gang uh, covers, is, they pretty, you know, unique in a way, shit. Somebody should make me a fucking, um, not cover art, but like something just for my YouTube channel or, you know what I mean? Uh... I don't know. You know how you have your Facebook and your Instagram and Twitter and shit, your little face or whatever, like something like that. Like if somebody out there know how to do shit like that, use hip hop kicks and make me a dope ass little cover or whatever. And I, you know, shout y'all out in the video. But other than that, I'm out.
Muddy baby, so abnormal. Gone.